Hey guys, I'm Jake, and this is your Atlas Weekly for Wednesday, August 13th. The hottest book of the week is The Walking Dead 130. And it's not a spoiler, because it's written right on the cover, There Were Whispers and I Was Afraid. Josh Howard's Dead at 17 is back with a new miniseries this week called The Blasphemy Throne. It starts up by catching you up with the entire series to date, and it's a must if you're a fan of horror or really into the series Hackslash. Archie's pal, Kevin Keller, begins his new career as a superhero in issue 14 this week. And he even gets a secret base. Batman 34 arrives very soon after Batman 33, but it is a standalone issue. Yeah, you could call it a fill-in, but it's got some awesome pencils from Matteo Scalera, who does black science as well. The penultimate issue of Original Sin is here, and it has yet more revelations. This book is awesome, and Jason Aaron is killing it. If you're a fan of Nick Fury or Marvel continuity in general, what are you doing if you're not reading this book? Inhuman number three is out this week, written by Charles Soule, with gorgeous pencils still by Joe Mad. Just wanted to remind you guys, in case you guys forgot that this book existed. With Wolverine number 11, he's now only got one month to live, and watch out, Sabretooth's wearing a business suit! The fantastic graphic novel, Hip Hop Family Tree, is back in print this week with a new volume two. If you're into indie stuff, it's definitely worth a look. And now, here's Darren! Thanks, Jake. This week, Matt Wagner is bringing back The Tower Chronicles with Volume 2 Dreadstalker, illustrated by Simon Beasley. Dynamite brings Issue 6 of Legendary this week by Bill Willingham. I would definitely pick this up if you're fans of Pulp Heroes, but you're seeing them in a different light and a different setting. This week, Batman Earth 1, the trade paperback edition, is out from Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. It's got beautiful beautiful art, and Jeff Johns has never written a better Batman story. Just a heads up to customers who would like to come in on the weekend, the store will be somewhat cleared out because I will be selling my wares at OmegaCon, which will be at the Downtown Mall Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It is an anime convention and for gaming in general, of all forms. It will be taking over the Downtown Mall all weekend, and it's definitely worth checking out. That's it for this week, guys. Be sure to check us out on the Facebooks or these guys. Hey, Darren, what happened to the big Atlas sign? It's kind of cool. So I'm going to bring that to a mega count and put it on my table. Ah, uh, there were whispers and I was afraid. Ah, uh, okay. There. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> we're doing all right. And then we throw it over to Darren, right? Here's Darren. Okay, I'm talking to myself, well, Joey. Nice to so nothing? We, we could do the silent film version like the vi they're making it complicated do you want me to tape this spot like you know okay left foot here right foot here yes sorry oh wait a minute <laughs> wow will bill no yes absolutely hold up man okay I, I think that's it i'm done let me throw it back over to jake you gotta put up this cover when i talk about kevin keller mateo is it's a good big word. The penultimate issue of Original Sin comes out, or probably more than one time. No? 11 copies. Of number one? <laughs> That's it for this week, guys. But before I, cl uh, just a heads up, I will be selling my wares at OmegaCon, which will be at the Downtown Mall, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's a gaming board cards and video and manga convention totally worth no and anime fall oh. and uh there's gonna be a lot of uh anime or is an anime convention and for gaming in general of all forms it'll be taking over the downtown mall all weekend and it's definitely worth checking out be sure to check us out on the facebook's or these guys
Got it. Is that high enough?